His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Hillary Clinton on accepting the nomination of the U.S. Democratic Party in its general conference as the first woman in U.S. history to run for the presidential elections. His Majesty the King lauded Clinton's political experience, which enabled her to reach the stage of the U.S. presidential electoral race, wishing her success. He also stressed Bahrain's progress with regards to Bahraini women's rights and achievements. He hailed success of Bahraini women in serving the community, commending the empowerment initiatives which represented a quality and civilizational change in the history of women's work in Bahrain. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahraini women enjoy advanced political rights thanks to the national legislation which further consolidated women's rights on the basis of equality, equal opportunities and sovereignty of social justice. This, His Majesty affirmed, has broadened the scope of popular participation in engaging women actively in political life in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Duke of Westminster, Gerald Grovner, who is currently on a visit to the kingdom. His Majesty commended the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and the witness development in all fields. He confirmed mutual keenness to reinforce these relations to serve both countries' interests and their people. He noted the importance of these visits, which reflect the depth of partnership and historic cooperation between the two countries. For his part, the Duke of Westminster expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care to reinforce bilateral relations towards further progress. His Royal the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, received at Glebia Palace today a number of senior state officials, intellectuals and journalists. The Prime Minister said that regional developments require more actions for countries to preserve their security and stability and to protect their economy and development process so as to achieve the best living standards for their people. He stressed that the Gulf Cooperation Council countries have no interest to interfere in any country's affairs and affirmed the importance of taking necessary measures to preserve their sovereignty and freedom. His Royal affirmed the importance of periodic meetings among senior officials of Arab states to adopt more initiatives that serve the interests of the Arab nation and protect it from any threats. He said Bahrain is keen to enhance its development process to meet the goals of the government for the benefit of the country and the people. He added any attempts to distract Bahrain from its goals will not succeed, warning of trials to spread chaos and incite sedition. The Prime Minister noted that the dignity and rights of the citizens are preserved, highlighting the necessity of unity to protect the kingdom and ensure the continuity of its progress. He said loyalty and love for the country is a duty imposed by religion and national responsibility, urging further unity among the people so as to face any attempts of sabotage and terrorism.
The Roads Assistant Undersecretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Huda Fakhro, said that the Ministry will commence the construction of Nuedrat Bridge as part of the development of the Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah Highway project, the Alba Nuedrat Interchange, which requires the implementation of the first phase of the traffic diversion in the project through the widening of Nuedrat Roundabout as of tomorrow, the 1st of August. She pointed out that construction of the piles and piles cup within Nuedrat Roundabout have completed, but the traffic diversion is necessary to construct the remaining piles which are in conflict with the traffic movement around the roundabout. Fakhro explained that the work location will Nuedrat roundabout will be covered while keeping the existing three lanes, thus traffic movement in the roundabout area will not be affected by the traffic diversion.